Book Creator is a fantastic app that allows students to create their own books. Um, it uh, was previously available only on the iPad and now it's available for Chrome so that your students can make their own book and publish their own book um, using really anything with the Chrome browser but in particular it'll work really nicely with um, the new Chromebooks. So let's learn how to make a book with Book Creator. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is go to the website um, apps app.bookcreator.com and that's going to take you to where you can actually create the book online. And at this point um, I need to say that I'm a teacher and it's going to let me sign in with my Google account. Um, you'll be asked for some permissions. I've already given mine so those uh, questions aren't coming up for me. So this is the exact same way that your students will create a book in Book Creator. They will click New Book. It will give them some size choices. These down here um, will create a graphic novel type of a book or a cartoon type. Um, these are a more traditional book or ebook. Landscape uh, is the largest book size. It fills up most of the screen and it's the biggest pages. So let's choose that and it starts you right at the cover of your book. You add pages by clicking that arrow, page two of three, continuing on, all right? Um, these three buttons control the whole thing inside of this app. And so this basically is gonna add, let you change what's ever on your screen, and this lets you put stuff on your screen. So the, um, we're gonna start with um, a few items. Let's put a title on our book. And so you can see it pops out in a, in a different box. Go, oh, there's our book title, and done. And you can see it just basically plops onto the cover in a fairly traditional looking um, text. And here's how you change that. You go to this little letter I, and this gives you all of the options that you need. So for example, you could make, make the text really large. Um, if I go back over here and I change the size of the box, that redistributes my text. I can center the text, I can right align the text. Uh, bold, italics, underline. I can choose uh, from many, many fonts. So, and then you always just go back to the menu, change the font color, and I can add a background to the to the text box that I just added. Okay. And here's where I can change the order of objects. I can also give my uh, font a shadow. All right, so my book has a cover. It needs an image. So again, when we add something to the book, we go to the plus sign and let's go and find an image. Now it gives you a couple of choices here. The first choice is that it lets you do a Google search and inside of Book Creator that is um, safety searches on. So it should be only student appropriate images should show up. So let's look for an elephant. Um, also, you can go directly to your Google Drive. And if you want to um, have a folder made ahead of time where you have certain images in the folder and students can only choose from those images. But let's see if we can find an elephant for this page. And there are a bunch of elephants. Oh, I love this one. I'm gonna click this one. We're gonna add them to our cover. And there he is, and I can click on him to resize him. There we go. All right, let's uh, start working on a new page for the book. Okay, I've added a few items to page two. And um, some other things that you can do when you grab a image, you can also tilt the image a little bit. And, um, you can add a drawing, which is really a fun thing to do. Um, you click on the pen under the add sign, and that puts, as you can see, an overlay screen on top of your page. You can choose a color to draw with. 
And then we can just, um, if, especially if you have a touch screen Chromebook, you can use a stylus or your finger to draw. But um, I'm going to just make a little arrow here. that right there. Okay, there's my drawing. I'm going to say done. And now there's my drawing on the page and I can actually resize it. And I can move it around a little bit. All right, so the big happy elephant lives in Arizona. Finally, um, you can add video and audio to a book in Book Creator. And so your students can not only write their own book, but read the book. And so it'll the audio will play. And basically how that works is um, if you if you if you click on camera, you can take a still shot. Um, you can record a very short video. You do need to keep those short. Um, something in the neighborhood of five or six seconds. Um, but the audio recording is a really neat feature. Let's look at that. So it's asking me to use my microphone and I'm going to say yes, allow. And I start recording. It will give me a countdown. The big happy elephant lives in Arizona. And then I say I'm going to use my recording. And now you can see that page has a little play button on it. And so your students can um, record, not only write their own books, but read their own books. At any point while they're making a book, they can test it out by clicking the play button to see what it will eventually look like. And so here's my open book and there's my page. If I click on this, I can hear myself reading. All right, I can go back and look at my cover. And on a touchscreen Chromebook, these will just flip open. Um, there's no arrow. You just use your finger and flip those pages on the touchscreen. And basically, once the book is finished, you're going to go to share. And you do have to publish it in order to see it. Publishing it doesn't mean it's public to the world. It keeps it in your teacher library. And you are able then to share that uh, link with anybody that you give it to, for example, parents, so that they can see the book that their child created in school. Anyway, it's a fun app. It's a great way to have kids be creative and learn. Uh, if you'd like some help with this, using this in your classroom, please see your ITRT.